too zoomed in and it's tilted. Okay. Hi there YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Oh my goodness. I'm back. I have paper now. Very nice. I don't even explain what I'm doing. I was thinking about it. Do you guys even know that I'm in art school? Actually, you're all subscribed to me for Pratt videos, so <laughs> you probably do. But I'm in art school and I have only done art once on my channel and I'm pretty sure I destroyed the canvas in that. So we're doing it again. The other day I was talking with one of my friends and then they were like, oh, do you like use pen in your watercolors? And I was like, yes. And then I realized in my head that that might be like less impressive. And my friend, just to be clear, did not insinuate that at all. Basically what I'm saying is that I find it less impressive that like, look, I outlined that in pen first. And like, I do that with all my drawings. Like I outline them in pen first and these aren't very good, so. So then I was like, Okay, well, I'll try to do it freehand. So I did a little freehand. As you can see, I'm going through a bit of a mushroom phase, not the drug. Although I bet fairies are high most of the time. Anyway, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna film a Bob Ross painting. So I put on these clothes and I was all ready to do like an acrylic painting because I would never, I never do those. And I was just in one of those moods. I didn't think it was a good day to push my limits. So here we are doing watercolors, but I'm still gonna do a Bob Ross painting. All right, let's start. Just so you're aware, I don't know how this is gonna turn out. The issue about these watercolors that I'm using specifically is they're really pigmented and so if you don't blend them before they dry, you will never blend them. Oh, that's quite strong. Ugh, stop adding more pigment, you stupid. Something funny that's been happening is that I got a referral to like go to the, I don't know what it's called, the Scythe Clinic so that you can try anxiety medications. And um, they keep calling me and they keep leaving me messages. I'm not going to call you back. That's why I need the medication. <laughs> Stephen slash Yusuf Islam and then expect them not to grow up and go to art school and make zero money parenting advice from a 20 year old. I like that no one asked me to do this video. I just like, I feel like I need to prove myself because my last one. Oof. Wait, Jenna Marbles did this? Jenna Marbles did this one. That just makes a lot of sense for me as a person. Oh, I didn't think this through. Wait, there, you can't. I could just do acrylic. It doesn't look as blended on camera as it does in real life. I'm gonna go get acrylic and then we'll. Okay, that's good enough. Now it's time for the acrylic. If you're wondering, I'm sitting on a Trolls blanket that Sydney got me for my birthday. I avoid drawing or painting clouds at all costs. I'll show you, there's a project I did in pen. The sky should have had clouds, but I literally put stripes in the background before I even thought about making clouds.
goodness, am I done? I think the outcome looks quite horrible, honestly. This made me feel like I should drop out of art school. Kidding, not really, only kind of kidding a little bit. I'm kidding, don't worry. We're not gonna drop out again. We've already been down that route, haven't we? And it's actually uh, 2 a.m. It's the next day and I just was painting again today and I thought I would show it because it didn't go quite as badly as last night. So for this one, I didn't follow a tutorial and I used oil paints instead of acrylic and it's not good, but it could be worse. And I realized it looks like, like the Japan flag behind her and that was an accident. I changed the shape, that's all.